Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 71.5. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Business 210 Business Math Chapter 8, click on the link below the video. Hey, this is a quick last video to uh, look at one of the most important calculations in this whole chapter. Remember, we're doing selling, and we want to talk about markup on sell price. Now I'm on the last sheet. It says HW. I want to insert a new sheet to the left. I'm going to right click, right click that sheet right there, point to insert. The default is worksheet, then I click OK. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut Shift F11. Shift F11. I'm immediately going to double click it and call it invoice example. Now, we're going to do something that you would do out in the real world. You get a little data dump with a bunch of costs. So I'm just going to type invoice, and then enter. Enter. I'll type the product, and then the cost. So I'm typing this, but you would normally get a data dump, or you have some Excel spreadsheet, an attachment, and an email. For just to be quick here, I'm going to say Pro 1, which is short for product one. Then I'm going to copy it down. Maybe we'll do like uh, 10 products. So you get this invoice with 10 products. And then uh, I'm just going to enter some uh, 15, prices. 14, 6.52, So we got some uh, prices here. 10 I mean, some costs. These are an uh, invoice. We're a retailer. We're, we just got these uh, 10 products, and we're going to put them out on the shelf. But before we can put them on the shelf from our invoice, we need to calculate the sell price. Now, in a uh, retail uh, business, you're usually just given the uh, markup on sell price. However, and well, this is percentage, right? So in this chapter, we've used this whole phrase, percentage markup on sell. So this is the percentage associated with the markup. That means we take the markup and divide it by the sell price. But this is the, the number that you're usually given. Actually, maybe I'll include this. So in your business, you're working. They just say, oh, yeah, it's 0.44, right, or 44%. Now, this is not really what you see out in the world, if you're working in a uh, business that uses markup on sell price, they usually just say markup or markup percentage, right? So they say markup percentage. They assume that you know that the sell price is the base, all right? So you're just given this. They say they get an email. You got your products and your costs. You already know the default for this business is markup percentage 444. So what do you do? You instantly calculate the whole column of formulas to calculate sell price. Right? Someone else in the other cubicle is doing it on their handheld calculator. You know. Now, wait a second. With this whole uh, chapter, we have, if we want to jump to the base, we need associated part, and we have a part in cost and an associated rate. But this is not the associated rate. This is markup on sell price, and we need cost on sell price. Now remember, what's the formula for calculating base? Base equals part divided by rate. Associated part divided by associated rate. So guess what? We're given cost, no problem. That's a dollar part. And we're given, a, we're not given the cost, percent cost on sell price. We're given this. But no problem. We know that we can immediately get percent cost on sell price, if only I could type, by using the complement rule, equals 1 minus our uh, 44, and boom. Now we have 15 associated part, 0.56 associated rate, and we can do our calculation. Now I'm not going to type this. This is just uh, for learning here. When you're creating this quickly, if you do this over and over, you build the 1 minus right into the formula. So we'll say round associated part divided by associated rate. I'm going to hit F4 to lock it, divided by 2. 
Now remember, this percentage has the word markup in it, not cost. So it is not associated with that. But 1 minus, no problem. Control Enter, double click and send it down. If I go to the last one, looking good. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick.